Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and also too right next to it is the bell notification. I try to upload videos weekly, so when I upload a video to YouTube, you will get a notification in your email that my newest video has been uploaded. Now, I get a question a lot, especially when it comes to blood labs. I do a lot of blood work. This is what I do as a functional medicine doc. And one of the measurements of inflammation is C-reactive protein. People don't understand the significance of C-reactive protein and how detrimental that is to your overall health. So please watch the video, enjoy, thank you. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. In this short video, I'm going to explain a powerful inflammatory marker in blood work called C-reactive protein. On the blood labs, it's initialed as CRP. And the measurement amounts, you want to be anywhere from zero to three. Now again, what is C-reactive protein? C-reactive protein along with sed rate, they're two powerful inflammatory markers of the body that something's going on with inflammation. What it is, we don't know, but it's indicated that something's going on. It's an inflammatory marker in the blood. It's produced in the liver. And the thing about C-reactive protein that is actually makes it so amazing, it is a better indicator for heart disease. So if you, if you have a C-reactive protein measurement above three, then you may, be, you may be a candidate for heart disease. But first of all, see what's going on and what causes it. Now, again, it's an inflammatory marker in the blood. So things like cancer, infections, Genetics, diet, are you on the standard American diet? Are you eating your way to inflammation? I talk to a lot of my patients, gluten, wheat, soy, dairy, eggs, sugar, that it will all cause systemic inflammation, which is an, again, will increase your C-reactive protein marker. Cardiovascular disease, autoimmune diseases. Again, this is a good marker to indicate if your auto, autoimmune disease is being under control. Stress will do it. Environmental toxins will do it. Do you live, where do you live? Are you in a congested area? Yes, those, those environmental toxins can cause systemic inflammation, which will increase the C-reactive protein. So once your C-reactive protein is red and it's, it's elevated, what do you do about it? First and foremost, you, there's, you can't stress enough about exercise. Exercise will help decrease systemic inflammation. Vitamin C, I always recommend three, uh, 1,000 milligrams three times a day. You want to spread it out morning, noon, and night. Vitamin K2, 100, mi 100 micrograms two times a day. You want to do that morning and afternoon. CoQ10, coenzyme CoQ10 provides the muscle, the body, your whole system with energy in the form of what's called ATP. If you have inflammation, basically, I mean, those, those cells aren't doing their job. So if you increase, increase the cellular ATP, which is called the energy currency, then the cells can do their job and it will help with a decrease of the inflammation. Fish oil, turmeric, turmeric is an herb phenomenal for systemic inflammation and, and controlling blood sugar. Now the key thing is anti-inflammatory diet. What does that mean? That means again, no gluten, no sugar, no soy, no peanuts, no dairy. That will all cause inf systemic inflammation which will increase the C-reactive protein. Also, the main goal is you want to decrease the insulin levels. When you have too much sugar, you increase your insulin. Insulin will cause a systemic inflammation. So definitely you want to control the diet and also increase your vegetables. And vegetables are the key to lower systemic inflammation, so lower the C-reactive protein so you get to a better state of health. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. Hey, it's, over the last couple years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously, and I can only appreciate it, the viewers who subscribe. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos, or you could always Google my name, Dr. Janan Jawad, and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the most up-to-date videos, and thanks everybody who's watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.